So we go to the Blue Mix console and we go to the cat uh, the catalog and to get started with our Node Red application, you pick the Node Red starter boilerplate. So we're just going to come in here and we're going to call this Bob's Node Red Playground. And we're going to use this, um, you know, for all of the lessons in this series here where I can show you different things with uh, Node Red. And we've got Larry already talking. So here we go. So what this does is this is going to be the host name. This is going to be um, in the organization in space. We're going to use the default. There's really nothing else. I don't have anything set up in here. Um, it's going to be a cloud and NoSQL database. And then I'm going to go ahead and create it. So our app is actually up and running, and since this is a Node-RED application, actually, you know, we don't really have to do all of this stuff right here, um, but we could. Um, and, and what that means is we could actually end up running this locally and be able to um, test out, upgrade Node-RED, and work with the different uh, APIs and plugins, etc. So, so we're going to do this another time, but what I want to show is how quickly this was to actually get up and running. So if I visit the, um, the app URL right now, you can see here, we can now uh, go into uh, the Node-RED editor where we can configure this. So let's go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and configure this. Okay, so we could allow anyone to view the editor, but not make any changes. We're not going to do that right now, um, and we're going to keep it under lock and key. Click next. So browse available IBM Cloud nodes. There are lots of nodes available from the community. Yeah, so you can basically install. Uh, more nodes into this and you know we'll, we'll actually do this a little bit later uh, but we're not going to do any of this um, right now so cool things like that send push notifications to mobile devices using the push notification service so actually this is kind of cool because you can connect this into you know like a, a commerce engine or a precision marketing engine and be able to um, you know send notifications to your customers and your users um, but we're we're not going to do that so let's go and click finish I'll go ahead and save my password Okay, so Node-RED started, and now we can go right to our editor. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build a basic web service. So we'll come in here, we're gonna make a post, and we'll just call it my post. And we'll put a little JavaScript function in between here. And then we'll end with an HTTP response. So this isn't really going to do much. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to just assign the payload equals um, hello world. and then done it. And then it returns basically the payload. Body the response headers, and then we can deploy it. So what we can do is we can come over here now and we'll copy this. 
and remember it's my post and we'll do hurl it and we're going to do a post and we'll do my post and then we'll call it and there's the response so hello world and we can also do a debug in here so we can actually see it debug also so th that'll show up here so let's turn this on oops activated debug and then we'll go ahead and do this again and you can see there it is so that's the first video of this tutorial where we successfully created a web service in Node-RED.